decided to read The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. I chose to read this book because I really like the moral of the story. Uh, I like that the princess went from this beautiful princess with beautiful clothes and she was so clean and then she lost all those things and um, the character of the prince came out. It revealed his true character and she, the princess, she didn't want to put up with that. And so I, I really like that message for kids to, to get. So I chose that and yeah, now let's, let's read. So The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. To Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her cancel and burned off all her clothes with his fiery breath and he even carried off Prince Ronald. Uh oh, he's carrying off Prince Ronald. Once he gets him in his mouth, <laughs> he carries off Prince Ronald. <gasps> She lost her clothes. Elizabeth decided she was going to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. Wait, she lost her clothes, guys. She lost her beautiful dress. Now she's looking everywhere. Where, oh, where? Something to wear. Oh, the only thing that she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So, she's going to put on her paper bag. No more beautiful clothes for the princess. She's going to put on a bag. Now, she's going to follow that dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of bird forest and horses bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took a hold of that knocker and banged on the door. nose out of the door and said, well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed a knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck out his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princess, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! Shadow Elizabeth, is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes. 
at the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up to ten fours with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath. And breathe out so much fire, then he burned up 50 forests. <gasps> Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath. But the dragon didn't even have enough fire to even cook a meatball. And Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes! said the dragon, and he jumped up, and he flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. Oh, he was very tired when he got back. But Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk. And he lay down and he went straight to sleep. Oh, he was a tired dragon. Elizabeth whispered very softly. Hey, dragon. That dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up that dragon here and put her head right inside. She shouted loud. She said, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. <gasps> Elizabeth walked right over to the cave. <gasps> and there was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled. And what is that? You are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Mm. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. take a look and see what my, my assignment says to do. Oh, so my conclusion is for this story um, that it's, it's, it's not about the clothes we are wear or how we look that defines a person, but it is how we treat a person. And this beautiful girl with also a beautiful heart went and risked her life to go get this prince back. But the prince didn't see that. 
He didn't see that this girl, she just saved me. He just saw. Like, what do you look, why do you look like this? And so, what a great story to show kids that it's not about how what your hair looks like or what your clothes look like or the toys that you have or the way that you look on the outside. It is what you look like on the inside. Um, 